Welcome back to Flash Tutorials with Alan Becker. Today we are talking about exporting your Flash animations. Um, it's really simple and yet complicated and tricky. Uh, I've made a short animation to export, so let's look at it real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. It's awesome. Um, so if we wanted to uh, make a Flash file out of it, like a, a SWIF or SWF file, um, all you would do is go down to File, Publish Preview, and Flash. And that will both um, create an SWF file in the folder where you saved your FLA file and also let you view it at the same time. So let me click this. So as you can see um, it exports pretty smoothly and um, if you listen to the audio though it's very uh, bad. Let me rewind and play again. Compared to our audio here, hopefully you heard a difference there. Um, but what happens oftentimes is uh, there's a change in quality from your fo from your um, animation to your exported file. So it's an easy fix to change the audio um, quality. You just go to File, Publish Settings. And then there's two tabs. You go to the Flash tab. And then under Images and Sounds, there's uh, Audio Stream and Audio Event. Now, uh, by default, it is set to MP3 16 kilobytes per second mono. So um, we definitely want to make it higher than that. That's extremely low. We are, at least want it to be stereo. So um, we can do raw speech or any of this. I'm just going to do MP3. Um, bit rate I'm going to change to 160 kilobytes per second and quality best and um, uncheck this convert stereo to mono and okay so um, audio stream and audio event basically this controls which or controls the sounds that you have set to stream and then the ones that you set to event, this will be their quality. So I'm just going to do the same thing for there, just in case I have any other uh, event sounds. Okay. So now that we did that, press OK and then try again. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, um, I found when I was making really um, long videos that the audio at the towards the end would become out of sync, and that was due to this um, the audio compress compression. So, if you make it as uncompressed as possible, it should be in sync. Um, also, if you have any pictures in your in your um, animation like uh, JPEGs then you wanna change that to make it as high as possible um, unless you want your your animation to be really small in file size then you would probably lower that so it, it's gotta be a happy medium I guess uh, okay so um, what if you want to export your video for YouTube well um, you go to file export export movie now you can choose from many different options um, AVI or QuickTime um, well actually it's pretty much only two options AVI QuickTime everything else is kind of not a video file um, but if you choose AVI then you get some options well uh, first of all you have to make sure that the width and height are the same um, as what you set. Okay, let me cancel this. And if I 
click on the screen and down here we can check our size 550 by 400 which is the default um, if we do that again export movie AVI then if this is, if this is set to something bigger like um, 1280 or 720 or whatever um, then it's going to take your 550 by 400 and stretch it to fit this uh, this size and you don't want that because it's going to create um, gross like resizing um, artifacts and make it look low quality so it has it should be the same size if you want to make it bigger then change it here resize everything in your stage to fit that and then set the same thing here so um, set it to the same thing um, maintain aspect ratio video format 24 bit is good compressed video um, okay so you can compress your video in flash sometimes I choose not to I actually um, leave this unchecked so that I can export a completely uncompressed video and then put it into um, Windows Movie Maker and then have that export it using its compressor because that's the best compressor I could find um, but for now let's compress it and uh, sound format um, you can do basically whatever you want but I'm going to choose the highest okay and then we have all these video compression options um, if you want something good then make the compression quality as high as possible and then keyframe every like one frames and um, you have all these different options I'm sure yours are going to be different from mine everyone's is going to be a little different I'm not sure how these get installed into your computer but uh, um, I found that all these have their flaws um, except for this so let's just do a uh, uncompressed it'll it'll make the file extremely big but once we bring it into Windows Movie Maker then we can uh, compress it from there so okay and then it'll export our video so once we have that I have it right here so if you're using a Mac computer then you you will use iMovie it should come with Mac I'm guessing so Windows Live Movie Maker and then just drag it in and set the uh, um, project to standard aspect ratio unless of course your video is widescreen of course looks like there's still some weird cropping but that's okay um, and then we just go here to save movie and um, we're going to probably have to create a custom setting because none of these really fit our 550 by 400 so I'm going to create a custom setting make the width 550 height 400 bit rate whatever and my frame rate is 24 and the audio format I would like it to be relatively high um, and it'll show me an estimated file size for my video and it looks um, like my video is about nine seconds long so it'll be really small so let's call this um, flash 500 by 400 550 by 400 and then save and then once we've saved that video profile in the Windows Live video profiles folder then we close that and then we just find it from our custom settings as you can see I have a lot of custom settings um, flash 500 by 400 and then we just put it wherever we want so I'm gonna just call it my movie no I'm gonna call it exporting because that's what it was called before um, and you only have one choice WMV so but that exports very well to YouTube so uh, yeah once that is done it will look great.
yeah so that I found that this is the smoothest even though I guess you can tell that there's some uh, weird like weird thing going on between the colors um, but yeah it's okay so um yeah you can also export it as a uh, QuickTime file and you have some different options here so um, you choose the render width and render height. I guess you can't choose it here, but um, you go to this QuickTime settings and then you change it here. You make sure that video and sound are checked, otherwise you won't get any sound. And you check the settings. Here we have a lot of settings. I don't know what you will have, but H.264 is going to be definitely your best compression. It's what compresses all DVDs to make them make the giant movie files fit onto a small DVD. Um, you're going to choose this looks good quality high looks good and you click OK. Um, make sure the size is the same. It's you don't want it to be like a different aspect ratio like this or yeah whatever like 720 by 480 or 1280 by 720. Oh, it's going to be warped unless you use this letterbox. But you're going to want to use the current. So, okay, and then okay, and then and then okay, and then export. And okay, and then we find it, and then we watch it. So it looks like the QuickTime H.264 compression is the best um, so far of the th two or three options that we've chosen. Um, okay, if you look at the file size, if I if I make it an AVI file um, uncompressed, it's 139 megabytes, and then once I uh, export that from Windows Movie Maker it becomes oh god let me find it it becomes 898 kilobytes which is really really small and if I export it from uh, as a QuickTime file using H.264 it's 2 megabytes so if you looked at the at the other one the quality isn't that great it's not choppy, but it, it's not that great. But if you look at this one, it's a lot. It's really nice. So I would recommend, if you have it, H.264 um, as a QuickTime file, then you can then you can upload it to YouTube, and it will be great. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's all I have on exporting. I will upload the FLA file. Uh, and put the link in you in the YouTube description. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And see you guys later.